Hey everybody, it's Frank the Tank here. Starting our Madden Ultimate Team, we are doing a budget squad. Now I had some guys on some of my other accounts and players that I transferred over. Um, we'll go through a quick run through now. And I also had some coins saved up from those other accounts that I brought over just to give us a little head start. But everything on this team is gonna be no money spent. So we're gonna get coins by doing solo challenges. Um, maybe buying a couple packs with coins and selling the cards, uh, different things like that. So if we go to the item binder here, we do have a couple elite players. Uh, we have the 86 Geo Bernard. I saw him while I was going through some of the uh, auction screens, and I got him for like 3,000 coins. That was a really good deal. He sells for about eight or nine. Um, not a spectacular halfback, but somebody we can definitely use in our offense. Um, we have 91 Amari Cooper. We got him for completing the Journey 2 solos on one of my other accounts. Um, Antonio Gates and Cam Hayward, or excuse me, Cam Jordan, came from the other account as well, from packs that you get during the journeys. Um, Danny Woodhead, I had him sitting on an old account for a while. And then the T.Y. Hilton, I got him from a pack as well from the other account. Uh, so we are going to use Cooper, Hilton, and probably Bernard, um, but I do have some guys written down here that I want to go, and we're going to build this team up right now. We definitely have a good core with a couple of those guys, uh, but I want to get onto the auction screen here. Uh, right now we need about everything except receivers. We have receivers, but there are a couple guys I do have my eye on. Uh, so we're going to get on first. We're going to look for a quarterback. And I haven't played Mutt in a long time. When I first was getting heavy into my channel a few months back, I did spend a lot of money getting a lot of packs and teams and stuff, uh, or a lot of players. But when I, you know, fell back a little bit, I had bigger priorities. So I sold off a lot of stuff and ended up selling my coins and whatnot. Uh, so as far as quarterbacks go, a couple options. We have the new 88 Football Outsiders Carson Palmer that came out yesterday. Uh, he's a pretty good card. He has 94 throw power, 90 overall throw accuracy. Uh, another good one is the 88 David Carr, uh, 98 throw power, 89 throw accuracy. So we're going to take a look at the Carson Palmer really quick. And you know the Cardinals are having an amazing season. He's putting up really good numbers, and he's always one of those players. Uh, that I really liked, so I would like to play with him on the team. You can see he's going for about 8,000 coins. See the back of his card, 74 speed, 94 throw power. Uh, throw accuracy short and middle are good. Throw accuracy deep isn't that great, but with our offense, we're not going to throw a lot of deep balls anyway. Uh, so I think we are going to pick up this Carson Palmer. We really can't pass that up for 8,000 coins, um, especially for a card that came out yesterday. You know, the 74 speed is enough to get us out of the pocket if we need to get up, you know, get away from any blitzes or anything like that. Um, oh, that'd have been nice to throw in a bit on that Malcolm Jenkins. Those are going for about 20,000 uh, when I just looked at them. So we will steer towards a halfback now. We do have that. Uh, you know what? We have that Gio Bernard. So I'm not too worried about picking up a halfback. Uh, but as you can see, man, these prices are very, very low in the auction block. You know, you can get that Gio Bernard for 7,300 coins. You know, you got on Shane Vereen's pretty cheap. Some guys I were looking at were this Andre Ellington. Um, and I need it back with some speed. The Gio Bernard only has 89 speed, but he has really good, you know, agility and juking and stuff. This card here has 93 speed, 96 agility, and 96 juke uh, with a 93 acceleration. So this is a card I am definitely going to pick up in the very near future. Um, another one I was looking at was this 85 Thomas Rawls, right at around 15,000 coins right now. You know, 93 speed with a 93 truck with the 91 juke, 88 agility, and 92 acceleration. It doesn't get much better than that for 15,000 coins, but since we have that Geo, we're going to hold off for right now. And we are going to look at the tight end position. I don't want to stack this team with elites um, based on the fact that, you know, it is a budget team. So I do want to try to build up some positions while we're earning more coins and playing some games. Um, one guy I definitely wanted to pick up was this 84 Jordan Cameron. The run block is only a 62, but if you look at his speed, 87 speed and 89 catch. And for 1,400 coins, you cannot go wrong with that. So we are going to grab him. Um, one of the schemes I run, we do have some two tight end sets, so it's always nice to have another uh, receiving tight end that has some speed and that can get open. And another guy I was looking at 
is the 84 Football Outsiders Richard Rogers, and we should be able to find him right here. He is 3,100 coins, 87 speed, 87 catch with the 69 run block. 69 run block isn't the best, but one guy that I used on one of my other teams is the Football Outsiders Austin Safarian Jenkins. And this card is an absolute glitch in this game. He has very good speed. He's going for about 5,000 coins. Uh, if you look here, 89 speed, 87 catching, and 72 run block. Very good stats there, so we are going to pick that card up. And like I said, I like to have two decent tight ends because we do run some two tight end sets. And I will take care of the O-line. Um, I watched one of Mr. Golden Sports' videos where he was building a team with 100,000 coins. And he had some really good budget players on it. And his O-line, uh, he goes really high on impact blocking. And for one of my other teams, on one of my other accounts, I duplicated that O-line. Um, and they were very, very good. So that's something we're going to look into. But our next position that we're going to jump on is left outside linebacker. A um, lot of good ones available. But I think it's a no-brainer just for what we're trying to do. And we're going to go to the 80-84 category. And I see him right there already, but I do want to try to find him cheaper. We're going to go with Anthony Barr of the Minnesota Vikings. And one of the main reasons is because of his speed. And we can find the 84 here for 4,900 coins. You can see a 92 speed, 92 excel, 82 block shed, 87 hit power. Uh, this guy's a beast, so we're going to grab that card up. Definitely somebody we're going to use her a lot. Um, I do use her with my linebackers most of the time, but I do like to D-line use her as well. Um, you know, if you can get a lot of pressure on the quarterback that way, and, you know, your secondary can really hold up for you. And, you know, if you can get into the backfield quick, it just, you know, takes a lot of problems away, especially with the face catching and the spec catch this year. Uh, so next we're going to jump into the middle linebacker. I do like to run a 3-4 defense. And I think that speed is important for middle linebackers. And one of the guys I want to grab is this new football outsider, Stephon Anthony, 82 overall. He has 89 speed, 84 block shed, 84 hit power. Um, only 68 zone, but he's going to be a really good user card with the 6'3 height. So we are going to grab him. And, you know, you guys can see we bought, you know, one, two, three, four, five players already, and we still have over 90,000 coins so we can definitely make some good moves here. We do need another middle linebacker. And I'm not sure if there's anybody I saw throughout here that I wanted to pick up. Um, I have some guys written down here. I didn't look at this Koamisi yet. Uh, you know, they said we need speed. We're gonna stay away from them. But I do wanna go over to the right outside linebacker position and grab a couple of guys here. And you know, if you guys are looking to pick up elites right now, Elite prices are super, super cheap. If you go in the auction block, you can get those 85 to 87 elites uh, for next to nothing. So for right outside linebackers, I wanted to pick up Bud Dupree. Um, he is a Pittsburgh Steeler, having a great season for the Steelers. I am a Pittsburgh Steeler fan. I'm from Pittsburgh. Uh, but for 1,900 coins, this guy's 6'4 with 91 speed, 92 hit power, 93 acceleration with a 77 block shed. He's going to get to the quarterback a lot, and also he can be a great user card. I'm not sure his zone is that great if you're not. Let's take a look at his zone. I'm pretty sure his zone isn't that great if you leave him by himself. take a look here his zone is 75 which is above average it's not too bad um, definitely something we can work with and another right outside linebacker I wanted to pick up because I want to use her one and I also want to throw one at the middle linebacker position to user and that is going to be Jadavian Clowney. This card is an absolute monster. He's six foot five, 90 speed, 95 excel, 96 hit power, and I'm pretty sure his catching sucks. Uh, but when you're usering guys, you know if you hit the catch button, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But zone coverage is slightly below average at 64. But this guy is going to be an absolute beast if we user him and we could even throw him on the D line and get tons of pressure that way so that's a really good pickup for us and we 
you know, we're doing pretty well on our coins. I do have a couple cards on the auction block that's going to get us an extra 15 to 20,000 coins. And if you guys haven't done those Journey 2 solos yet, uh, you get a ton of coins and a ton of perks for doing those. So I definitely suggest taking the time to do that. Um, you could play through the whole journey in about three hours, I would say, if you're focusing on it. Um, but for cornerbacks, from my other account, we already have 84 Dominique Rogers Cromartie. Um, you know, who's been a beast in this game, and, you know, I love playing with that card. And especially with some of the fast receivers, he covers pretty well. One of the guys I was looking at before, and I hope he's still up for some a decent price, is the Football Outsiders' David Amerson. And you'll see why once I get on him. And he's up for 19 k um, That bid there is for 4200 but that's five hours left. Uh, when I saw him earlier, he was going for about 12. I knew I should have grabbed him, but I wanted to record the video. But he is 6'1 with 93 speed, 92 zone, 86 man, and has an 81 catching. So he is somebody we're definitely going to pick up. I don't want to pay 20,000 coins for him. I'm pretty sure if I wait and just watch the auction block for a little bit, I'll be able to grab him around 10 or 12,000 coins. Uh, so that's something that we're going to wait for. And another guy we wanted to look up is... Janoris Jenkins, the 83 road to the playoff. Let's see what this Amerson is like. 92 speed, 87 zone, 77 catch. This isn't a bad card for our budget squad. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this one here. And, you know, once we play some more solos and get some more coins, we will upgrade to that elite one because I do think his stats are better enough to justify spending the coins. Um, I just really don't want to spend the 20,000 to get him. So looking at the 80 to 84 cornerbacks, there's definitely a bunch of good ones we can grab. But like I said, the one I was looking at was Janoris Jenkins. It'll be quicker if we search him here. You know, a decent cornerback for our slot position, 2,400 coins. Take a look at the back. He is 5'10", so he's kind of short. He'd be good for a quick player in the slot. Uh, but 91 speed, 84 zone, 89 man, and 94 agility. 75 catch, so he has some decent hands. Um, but a good guy to start out the budget squad with, so we will scoop him up. And our next two big holes are free safety and strong safety. So we will jump into the free safety category here. I have a few guys in mind. The 84... Um, Tashawn Gibson is a really good coverage safety, but he doesn't have much of a hit power, doesn't pack much of a punch, uh, which is why I wanted to check out the 86 Kelvin Pryor. I believe it's the road to the playoffs elite. And also that Glover Quinn would be pretty good too, Glover Quinn, however you say his name. But if we look at the Kelvin Pryor here, he has 16,000 coins, uh, but his stats are insane. He has 88 speed, 98 hit power. I think he is definitely worth the 16,000 coin investment. Uh, if you watch any of Colin Berger on YouTube, he was using him on his main team for a while. Um, and, you know, that's a guy who could afford any card. So, you know, for him to use the 86 Kelvin Pryor, he must be pretty decent. Uh, so that leaves us with strong safety. I have a couple of ideas here for strong safety, but I might hold off um, just because strong safety is a pretty low pool of guys available. You know, you have the Bethayas, the Alokas, the TJ Wards that you can get for under 10k, um, but I've played with all of them and none of them really stand out to me. This is one here, this Rashad Jones, he has 17,000 coins, 85 speed, 6'1", with an 88 hit power. He plays a lot better than an 88 overall in my opinion. Um, I just don't know if we want to throw the 17,000 down for him. So we'll take a look at the 84, run the 83, 84 rank guys. And there were a couple in here I had my eye on. Uh, this 84 Ron Parker. He's six foot with 93 speed, only has 76 hit power, but he's really good zone and man coverage. You know, 82 man uh, for a strong safety is excellent. So really good coverage safety. See what his, his catching is 63, so that's not that great. But this 84 Tony Jefferson, I used him a while ago, only 86 speed, but he has 95 man, 90, um, or excuse me, 85 man, 84 zone with a 90 hit power, and he has 71 catching, so we are going to grab him. Uh, you know, you can't beat that for the price with the stats on that card. Our Cameron Jordan sold there, so that's another 11,000 coins. So we'll filter by buy it now again, and I was also thinking about doing this Jimmy Ward 
um, set here for the Rising Star. And his stats are pretty good on these gold cards. I'm, I heard the Rising Star card, the Shefter Star, excuse me, is pretty good. Uh, 91 speed on the gold, so that should go to 92 or 93 when you do the set to upgrade. Uh, the 83 hit power should go to about an 85. Um, and he has 73 catching, which will go to about 74, 75. So that'd be a really nice card to have. You know, so I'm trying to decide what I want to do with that. And with all the bundles being opened up this weekend and he's the new Rising Star, that card should go down. So we could hold off on that for a day or two and see where his price is at. Uh, but one more pickup I want to make in the video without this video getting too long. Uh, one of the most important things in this game is to grab a kicker. And the best kicker in the game is the 89 Football Outsiders Brandon McManus. And I think this card is worth every penny. When you look at the stats here, it's about 36,000 coins, but the 99 kick power, you know, it makes you, it makes any field goal up to about 61 yards possible, uh, you know, which is a crazy tool, especially when you're running a budget squad and, you know, you end up going for a lot of field goals. So I think we are going to drop the 36,000 on that. Um, I've had him before. It's definitely money well spent. And we'll go now and upgrade, and we'll uh, upgrade our team and see where or update our starting roster, see where we're at. Like I said, I will mess with the offensive line. You know, I don't want to put you guys through watching that. This video is already about 17 minutes long. Uh, so we have 27,000 coins left. We have about 10 to 15K more on the auction block right now. Uh, as you see, you know, that's not a bad lineup for a budget squad. At a 78 overall, we have 88 Carson Palmer, Gio Bernard there. Uh, with Amari Cooper, T.Y. Hilton on the outside. And we also have this 83 Doriel Green Beckham. I might replace him with T.Y. Hilton and then put Hilton in the slot because this Green Beckham, um, if you haven't seen this card yet, you know, it's a beast. He's 6'5", 91 speed, 89 catching, 94 spec, 93 catch in traffic. Awesome card to have, so that's something you might want to pick up. You know, our tight end is set. I will get a fullback so we can get Safarian Jenkins out of there. You know, the defense is looking good. Our secondary is definitely good. Uh, we have this Jimmy Smith. I got him for doing uh, the pack when you, like, open a new account or whatever. And then you go to our specialist, and that Brandon McManus is definitely going to make an impact for us. Uh, so that's going to be the video, guys. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. Um, and keep a heads up for some more budget squad uh, making some more moves, doing some more gameplay. Uh, we're definitely going to jump into it pretty good, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.